Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I am going to show you yet the newest way to create content on your Facebook business page, better known today as the Meta Business Page. Now there have been a lot of changes on Facebook and it has been very frustrating. In the past, we never used to create our content right here where it says what's on your mind because you could never schedule that post nor could you post to Instagram at the same time. Now it makes the most sense that they have finally changed this. As you remember, a lot of you used to come over here to your professional dashboard where it said manage the page and you would click on professional dashboard, you would get a drop down menu and you would go to your meta business suite to create your content this way. However, that option is now disappeared on this particular business page. However, if I go to the classic business page, as you see here, we still have the publishing tool option to create content. So this is a different business page. This is a business page that never chose to update to the Meta Business Suite. I'm pretty sure they will be forced to do it uh, sooner or later. But today we are concentrating on this page right here. This is the Heather Clifford EXP Realty in the Comox Valley Campbell River business page that we're using as an example today. So I'm gonna go back to the wall of that business page. As you can see, I am here. So now when we want to create content to share on Facebook and on Instagram, plus schedule the post, we are still going to use what's on your mind only from our wall this time. So let's go ahead and click it. Now what I want you to notice is I want to schedule this post and the only way now you can schedule the post is to click down here where it says schedule your post from the planner of the Meta Business Suite. So this is the tab that used to be on the left hand side. It is now contained within the create a post from your wall. So let's click on it. Once you get to this page, I'm gonna point out a couple of things. A, you have to click in the top right hand corner where it says create, or you have to click on the plus sign over here where it says create. Now what happens, it is opens a window and you can see my business page on the left hand side right here. Note the little half diamond drop down arrow. We're gonna click it and we're gonna go ahead and click in the Instagram. So now we're posting on both Facebook and on Instagram. And then we click out of it in order to see where we can add our content. I'm gonna add a video. We're gonna click add video. We're gonna upload it from the desktop. So you need to know where on your desktop that video is. We're gonna go into the folder for where that is it's in Facebook and there it is it's updated and we're going to open it it's going to start loading it to my Facebook business page now I have noticed that sometimes it will not load it to Instagram and I have to do that separately however it is working very well to upload multiple photos and uh, use Instagram and Facebook at the same time so we'll see what happens with this video in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my text in this box here I've already copied it. I have a few hashtags, not many hashtags, but a few. And then I'm going to bury them lower because on Facebook, I don't want people clicking on those hashtags because it will take them away from my Facebook business page. Now, I want you to notice the frame that Facebook picks. I don't know why, but every single time it is the frame on the bathroom. And when you're scheduling a post or creating a post in this new publishing tool, it does not give you an option to change the frame. So take note of the frame because once this video posts to your account, to your business page, you need to then go in and edit that video. So you wanna look at everything and make sure you're happy with how it looks, what you're saying, check for any spelling errors. And I'm just looking here for, my, there's my link. I always like my link to be down one and on its own. So that is the link I want the consumer to click. I can also use this teardrop here and click on it and add the location. 
and then once I have the location chosen, I save it. And then the next thing I want to do, as I was telling you earlier, is I want to schedule this post. I'm going to click schedule and I'm going to pick when I want this video to go out. And it's going to be on Monday, the 16th at let's say 7 a.m. I'm going to pick 7 a.m. for Instagram and I need to change the date. So there we go. We're going to post on Facebook. We're going to post on Instagram. It's going to go out at 7 a.m. on Monday morning. And I'm going to remind you one more time, you need to go in once it posts to your business page and you need to pick a more beautiful frame because as you can see right here, it does not allow you to do that. So this is how we are now creating content, scheduling it, and posting on both Facebook and Instagram. As of the end of January, we're January the 15th today, so middle of January 2023. My name is Heather, and remember everyone, let's keep it simple. I just posted schedule, and there we go. It's in our schedule.